are starting off with a 32 ounce plump from the Steel Magnolia. I will have a discount code link for you down in the description. And then we are going to sand it and then just base paint it as close as you can to your base glitter, which mine is like a light gold. So I'm just going to base paint my cup with a tan. Once your paint is all dry, mix up a few milliliters of epoxy and spread that on super thin. You'll need less than 10 milliliters for this entire cup. So you just wanna glide your hand over, but really push that epoxy all the way around the cup. If your hand is going over the cup really easily, you probably have too much. So just keep pushing and spreading until you get a really nice even layer where your cup is just all sticky. And then you're gonna take your glitter. I am using this super stunning glitter called Romance. And we are going to apply glitter to the entire cup. Now you're going to epoxy your cup until smooth. This usually takes me about two coats, just depending on the glitter. And then we are going to cut out our contemporary stripes on some sort of vinyl. Sometimes I use removable or temporary. This time I just use whatever I had on hand. And we're gonna place one at the top of our tumbler and then one around the bottom. Now that you have your contemporary lines applied, we're going to take a hot glue gun and we're gonna just add a daub of glue on every single stripe. This is because we are going to remove these pieces later on after we paint and glitter it and it's just way easier to find them with a glue dot on there. So I went and took my cup outside and just spray painted it black. When that paint has dried, I mixed up a little bit more of epoxy and spread that on really thin. We are going to apply this super beautiful black glitter that stays sparkly under epoxy called Obsidian and coat your entire cup. Now that your tumbler is completely glittered, we're gonna go back and remove all of those contemporary stripes, revealing that beautiful gold underneath. And so on the top, I just kind of hung them over the top, so they're just super easy to find and pull off. And then on the bottom, you're going to want to remove them with some sort of tweezers or something. You just gotta find the parts of the glue that is kind of poking up and you will know that's where your stripes are and then just remove those with the tweezers.
Set your cup to the side to let that glitter layer dry a couple hours. And then once it has, add another layer of epoxy over the top. And then this is where you can choose if you would like to add a decal or not. I am giving this one away to my Patreon group and I took suggestions on what the decal should be. So this is the winner of this tumbler. I just thought it was perfect. I kind of wanted an inspirational quote, kind of a power word, and be brave was suggested. So that's what I went with. And so I'm just going to find where I feel like it looks the best with the stripes and place it vertically on the tumbler. Once your decal is applied, add a final layer of epoxy. And here is our tumbler all finished. I just love the sleek contemporary vibe this tumbler puts off. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please remember to like and subscribe. And don't forget to look for me on all other social media platforms under Diamonds and Dust. And thanks so much for watching.